Hello. It's me. Surprise. I know it's been so long that you probably even forgot that I was doing this. Don't worry. I didn't forget. I was, I honestly just haven't made videos because that's where we're at right now in life. Um, but I have been doing lots of things to the point that I have done enough things that I'm going to categorize my videos a little bit here. Um, so just for your knowledge and for exciting things that are coming up, we will have a, um, a, a theater. Oh, actually, yeah, we'll have a, a theater video coming up. We'll have an entire book thing coming up because apparently I've been reading a lot of books. Um, and some random things here and there, some really great, exciting things going on. Um, but for today, I'm actually really excited about this one. So, uh, we're going to talk about things that I've done that scare me. So if we recall, flip back to the beginning of this year, I made a goal to do 24 things that scare me. And I've worked my way down that list, uh, pretty well, pretty well. Um, and so I have done a couple of things that I have not talked to you about, some of which it has been a while, some of which, some of, some of those are continuing, some of them are recent, so there you go. Um, mm, okay, first two, uh, you kind of got like a little bit of a glimpse in it in a previous video, but the first one is scuba diving in general. Now, um, I did this when I was in Australia. I went to the Great Barrier Reef and spent a couple of days out on the water. I did a live aboard situation and I was initially, initially, <laughs> initially planning on just doing a, an introductory dive because obviously from what we're talking about, it scares me, it scared me. Um, and that was, that was the whole plan, but got in the water and discovered that I loved it. Now, <laughs> I should probably explain a few things. So I love the water. I love the ocean. I love swimming. I love everything to do with it. I love playing with the waves. I love just jumping in the ocean when it's beautiful and calm and clear. Anything and everything to do with that, I'm a total fan of. Um, I remember, however, when I was a little girl, um, and the first time that I jumped into the ocean and saw that there were fish in the water with me, my mom says that I got out... I. <laughs> I barely touched the water and I was out of the water so fast. So just the fact that there were fish and animals swimming around me that I didn't really know anything about really freaked me out as a kid, especially, but continuing on to adulthood, it was just never a really comfortable feeling for me. But obviously throughout all of this experience, um, I think that it's probably pretty evident that I don't enjoy I don't, I don't like being scared, not necessarily the feeling of being scared, but it feels like, um, I'm relinquishing my own power. So I normally, I take the attitude of feel the fear and do it anyway. So throughout life, whenever I could go, uh, snorkeling, because my dad really loved snorkeling, I would go with him and try and push past that fear. And so I thought that scuba diving was just going to be the next step. Um... Turns out I absolutely loved it. I stayed longer and got my certification. So now I'm open water certified for scuba diving, which I think is pretty dang cool. And I'm really proud of myself for it. Um, yeah, I, this is a really dumb way to describe this, but I feel there's a very big difference between snorkeling and scuba diving, not just for apparatus and the fact that you're breathing underwater and all of those kinds of crazy things, but more like, um, like I said, dumb way to describe it, but for snorkeling, I feel like you're kind of, you're watching someone's life through their living room window when it's dark outside, like you're watching their life from the outside in. Uh, and then for scuba diving, I feel like you've been invited into the house and you're conversing with them. So it's much more open and friendly conversation and very, um, yeah, it's just different. And I loved it. But along the same line, so that's one. Just the fact of doing that was scary for me. Then, if that weren't enough, after I decided that I liked it, I decided to do a night dive. So what this is is that you're, it's exactly how it sounds. You're literally 
doing a scuba diving dive at night, which is when uh, the larger animals are hunting. So sharks are out and about and really active at that point. Uh, and it's just the craziest thing because I was on a liveaboard, so I was on the boat the entire time. And you would go to one side of the boat, <laughs> just to the side of the boat, and they would be throwing ice off to the side because apparently sharks really like ice. Didn't know that. Don't even know why. Don't ask me. Anyway, they were throwing ice off the side of the boat, and so all of the sharks were coming up to the surface, and so you would just see all of the sharks along the surface. And then immediately you would go to the back of the boat, so not even to the other side of the boat, but just to the back of the boat, and you'd get all your gear on, and you'd go and dive. And you can't see anything. So you just have your flashlight, and you can only see what's in the beam of your flashlight which is slightly disconcerting, especially when you're swimming along. <laughs> this was, I was doing, I did really well because I had my instructor with me. So I was arm in arm with my instructor who was teaching me how to dive the entire time. And so I wasn't, I wasn't alone, which makes all the difference. I wouldn't actually do this if I were alone because that would freak me out too much. Um, but anyway, I was just swimming along, seeing all sorts of things. And then I just turn my, my flashlight to the side and there's a shark. Like, right there. And I'm like, and I can't breathe. But aside from that, it was really cool. I mean, like, and even that was really cool because the shark was just there. It wasn't bothering me and I wasn't bothering it. It just surprised me. Because that's kind of the element with the night dive is that you don't necessarily know what's going on. Um, Next, this was a recent thing. And... <laughs> <laughs> it's really funny. So anyway, recently I discovered that I have a genetic mutation where my body doesn't actually, um, doesn't get the B12 that you get from your food. So my body doesn't compress all of the things, uh, which is normally converted into energy, which explains a lot. It means that I am actually like naturally really tired all the time because I'm not getting the B12 that I need. And so I need, uh, methylated B12 shots. And my doctor does not live where I live anymore because, you know, I'm of the age where you move around every week. Um, <laughs> so I, he arranged for me to give myself the shots. Now, I know that this is something that people do, uh, especially with allergies and uh, different medications and everything like that and insulin shots and et cetera, et cetera. So I know that this is something that people do on a regular basis, but... This was a little outside my comfort zone. It was my very first time, and my oh-so-wonderful roommates filmed me while I was giving myself a shot because I didn't know what the heck I was doing. Um, now, I'll show this video. Uh, I think that it's just very important to note that when I actually do get scared, uh, legitimately, like, <laughs> when I'm really losing my mind <laughs> being scared, I laugh uncontrollably. I can't contain myself. So you'll see a smidgen of that here. Ta-da! Just shut on my stupidity. She did the artery! Go! Okay, Maddie, just, just dot the artery. Just dot the artery. And you'll be fine. This is what happens when I'm afraid. I just laugh hysterically. <laughs> Yeah, like with the... 
Right now, now just. <gasps> oh, I did it! I'm doing <laughs> it! You saved my body! Now, now put it in. There you go. Oh, oh my gosh! Up close and personal. Oh my gosh! Oh, I did it! You did it. Good job. I did it! Good job. Oh, proud of you, dude. Oh, proud. Gosh. How do you feel? <laughs> Already. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there you go. So those are three, uh, three things that I did that I am scared of. Uh, and finally, this is more of a continuous thing. Um, I wrote this down a couple of months ago, and I wanted to talk about it a couple of months ago, probably about close to six months ago. Um, but. You know, I mean, like, I, I wasn't in this necessarily the greatest of place to, places to talk about it, but more like, um, yeah, it's, it's a continuous thing. And I think that it's pretty, I mean, I'm going to be honestly fairly vague because I think that everyone really can relate to this. I think that this is a really interesting, difficult time of life being in your mid-20s. And I think that each age has its own challenges, its own difficulties where you're facing new challenges um, and growing as an individual in different ways that you haven't had to in the past. For this age time period, specifically for me, uh, there's a lot of, um, a lot of growing pains where you're learning how to do all sorts of things as an adult, um, that you didn't know that you had to do before, or didn't know how to do them or anything like that. So you're getting more responsibility and also, uh, <laughs> especially, um, I think the biggest challenge for me was graduating from college and uh, starting to really question everything. Question what I liked, what I don't like, what I want to do, who I am, where I want to be, what kind of a person I am at that point. Um, feeling really, uh, feeling really damaged and really hurt and uh, ultimately completely alone. And all of that is really, really challenging, and I think that everybody encounters uh, their own form of all of the things that I mentioned at different times and different quantities for different reasons. And what I'm doing, <laughs> what I, why I'm counting this, why I'm even talking about this, is that facing those, uh, facing those realities and those challenges knowing that it might take a long time to find the answers, knowing that sometimes you're not never going to know the answer. Um, I'm slowly coming to terms with the fact that uh, I may never actually fully completely know what I want to be when I grow up, and that I may change several times throughout my lifetime, uh, that I'm going to have passions that fade in and out, and that I'm going to make mistakes and doubt who I am as a person. I'm going to have times when I have myself to take care of and there are going to be times when I have other people to take care of and there are going to be times where an, an event happens that makes you question literally everything about your life and about yourself and that's terrifying having to face those really huge uh, life life questions and problems and looking forward and not knowing the answer taking steps in the dark not knowing if there's a cliff or another another foot a uh, footstool for you to to have is a really frightening thing um and and that's really why I'm counting it because I'm I'm moving forward as the best that I can and making choices the best that I can to try and become a good person, become the person that I want to be, have the life that I want to have in this world, see things, help people, um, make mistakes and fix them, and trying to take on all of those challenges and do the best that I possibly can. Um, yeah, and making, making risks, taking chances in everything that I'm doing. Um, <laughs> you know, I mean, starting a new job, I'm just moved to a new apartment. I don't know what's going to be happening for the next of anything. I barely know what I'm going to be doing next week. So it's, it's a, it's an interesting time. It's a challenging time, but just facing those unknowns and 
moving forward as best as I possibly can. And I think that this conversation, this element that we're talking about right now, pretty much sums up this entire year for me, uh, probably the past couple of years, honestly. And it's not something that's quantifiable. It's not something that I can show you a video. It's not even something that I can even accurately describe because I've done a great deal of rambling in all of this. But I think that it's uh, one of the more real things that I'm doing that I'm terrified of every single day. And I think that it's fair that I give myself credit for that. And for anybody who's going through anything like this, um, facing huge challenges and continuing on and just doing the best that you possibly can, admitting fault when you have it, and trying to rectify the situations as you move along because you have no idea what's going on. I think that there is significant power in giving yourself credit and admitting that it's a challenge and that you were brave for accepting that challenge and moving forward because that's the only thing that you can do, but it's a very brave thing to do. So there's that. Recap, we talked about scuba diving. We talked about scuba diving at night with sharks and giving myself a shot and then also just continuing on in the face of undefinable challenges without a clear path out. Yep. So there's that. That's what we have for today. This was the What Scares Maddie <laughs> challenge. Um, and I don't know where I am on this list. Let's check, shall we? I think I'm probably around halfway. La-di-da. I'm keeping track of all of my things in this lovely journal. All right. That's 10. 10 of 24, and we have four months left. So I'm going to think about that a little bit more. <laughs> um, but anyway, thanks for checking in. There we go. Ta-da!